sardines can make the difference when it comes to your health. What's up guys, Dr. Borja Bandera here. Before we start talking about sardines, don't forget hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Today we are gonna cover a new study, okay actually it's not really new because it was published in 2016, so not really new but it's a very interesting study about nutrition. Every nutritional guideline recommends eating at least two times per week fish and concretely blue fish, oily fish because mainly to its content in omega-3 essential fatty acids. Today we are gonna cover a randomized controlled trial that analyzed the effect of supplementing diet with sardines. Okay, so this study had 35 participants that were divided in two groups. Group one control group, standard diet, no sardines group and group B, sardines group that were supplemented with 100 grams of sardines during 5 days per week during 6 months, okay? So it's a pretty reasonable period of time, 6 months is very very adequate now we are going to cover, we are going to review all the effects, the beneficial effects that the sardines group had because of the sardines, okay? The first and most important was the omega-3 index. As we, as we said before, omega-3 is a group of essential fatty acids that are crucial to our health that benefit our cardiovascular system, our arteries, prevents cardiovascular disease, it's good for our brain, it's good to prevent dementia as well. So omega-3 essential fatty acids are important, are crucial, are vital, okay? So the omega-3 index can be defined as the content in red blood cells, in cells that transport hemoglobin to your cells, okay? The content of DHA and EPA, so as I said, omega-3 fatty acids, relative to total fatty acid contents in membranes, in cell membranes of red blue cells, okay? Red blood cells, erythrocytes. So this is a marker, a biomarker of cardiovascular disease prevention the higher the better okay so in this study the sardine group had an improvement an increase of five to eight percent of omega-3 index that is related closely related to less coronary heart disease less cardiovascular disease and less sudden death on top of that we find that a higher omega-3 index is related to more deformable red blood cells. Red blood cells, erythrocytes, are very dynamic cells. They have to pass through small, really small micro vessels. When they are very tight, they cannot pass, they cannot go through those micro vessels, so our microcirculation gets worsened. But when the membrane is fluid, when there's fluidity in the membrane of red blood cells, that is exactly what happens when omega-3 index is high, microcirculation improves a lot, okay? That's the first benefit. Another consideration, another aspect to consider is the hypothesis that in fish, there are other things that contribute to improvement or cardiovascular health that are not omega-3. Actually, we find some specific proteins and amino acids in fish that are very, very interesting in terms of health. In terms of health. Taurine is one of them, okay? 
taurine is a sulfur amino acid that is related in animal studies with improvement of insulin resistance. So probably both omega-3 and taurine contributes in sardines to, to an improvement of cardiovascular health. So until now we have covered an improvement of omega-3 index that is a biomarker of cardiovascular disease as well as, as, well as LDL cholesterol, the most basic and known biomarker of cardiovascular disease. Then we are going to say that the sardine group improved its insulin resistance. OMA insulin resistance is a biomarker of insulin sensitivity in humans, okay? It's a biomarker that doctor use, that we use to assess insulin sensitivity or insulin resistance. So in the sardine group, OMA model assessment diminished, which means that insulin sensitivity improved a lot in that group. On top of that, adiponectin went up. Adiponectin is an interleukin, an adipokin. That means an interleukin that comes from our fat cells, okay? People with high BMA, people that are overweighted or obese, or had obesity, had low levels of adiponectin. So when you are lean, when you are thin, when you are in your weight, you have naturally high levels of adiponectin. So increasing adiponectin is a good thing. Talking about microbiota, microbiome in the sardine group, we found that the phyla firmicutes went down and the ratio firmicutes to bacteroidetes went as well down, which is a very good thing because it's exactly what happens in obese people that lose weight after a bariatric surgery or after a weight loss intervention of any kind, okay? So that is a good thing. A lowering of the firmicutes to bacteroidetes ratio is a good thing when it comes to microbiota. Okay, three more points to cover. The first one, sustainability. Sardines are usually more sustainable than other fishes, for, for example, than tuna, okay? Sardines are usually wild caught, so that improves its nutrient content and more this fish more healthy. And sardines don't eat other fish they eat plankton okay so its mercury levels are usually very low another thing to consider is that inflammation biomarkers or metabolic control was was unchanged respecting control group and as well there was some confusion factors in this study that we have to consider we have to have in mind that sardine group consumed more olive oil than control group probably because sardine group participants of sardine group consume sardines with some kind of salad and some kind of a match of the sardines were canned sardines that are immersed in olive oil that is a confusion factor another one is that fiber intake was higher in the sardine group than in control group probably because participants ate sardines with some kind of salad not sardine salon. So that are do so those are two confusion factors that we have to bear in mind. In conclusion, guys, sardines are an incredibly healthy food that you should include in your diet. Sardines are rich in essential fatty acids, are a good are a good source of protein, healthy protein, are a good source of taurine a very difficult to find amino acid, can diminish your cardiovascular risk, are affordable, are wild caught, low levels of mercury, improves microbiota composition, and we Spaniards love them. That's everything for today, thank you for watching, don't forget subscribing, 
give some feedback in the comments down below you have down below as well the study we have talked about okay you can download it if you want see you in the next video stay healthy and strong